Welcome to Old Classic Car, and in this collection we're looking at the classic Austin Counties cars of the late 1940s and into the 1950s. And to begin with, we've got HWX801. This was my old Austin A40 Devon, that was a 1949 car that I ran for several years in the mid-2000s. Great little runaround that was. Now, two photographs of a very swish motor indeed, an Austin A90 Atlantic Drophead Coupe. VMF134 dates this car to 1950. There's a rear view of the same Austin Atlantic. Quite a swish motor designed very much with the American market in mind, but it didn't really sell very well at all and only continued in production for a short time. LYS271. This is an Austin A70 Hereford, an unrestored car. First put on the road in November of 1953. Still shows as being registered, so has it gone on to be restored? This photo was quite a few years ago. Down to the Goodwood Revival, we have an Austin A40 van. ECP908 is a 1954 van. It's a latish example, painted grille and the fixed rear wheel arches. The earlier vans and countrymen had the removable spats. ESL189 is an early 1950s Austin A40 Somerset Saloon on a classic car run. This is my old A40 pickup. This was about 1952, I think. So it's got the painted grille, but still had the removable spats over the rear wheels, and it was a floor change pickup. The later ones uh, were column change, like the Somerset. Down to Malvern, the classic car show down there, and this is an A70 Hereford, NOK843. This one dates to June of 1953. There's a period caravan alongside it, probably 1960s in date, the caravan. Four period photos from the main old classic car site now. The rarest is probably the one at the bottom right. That's an Austin Highlight Coupe Utility, an Australian ute. This rather sorry looking A40 Countryman I retrieved many years ago from a dark building somewhere near Stoke. Uh, I had a few bits and pieces off it and I gave the rest away to a friend of mine who's got a van and he kept all the rest that was still usable. Back to Malvern, we've got two A40 Sports here. MXP620 is from May of 1952. Same running gear as the Devon and the Somerset, albeit with twin carburettors to give it a little bit of extra poke. But basically, it's very much the same under the skin. Here's an interior view of the same car. Dashboard very similar to that of the A40 Somerset. There's a Tapley brake testing meter on the dashboard there. PYB196, a very smart grey Austin A40 Somerset, this one from June of 1953. A few extra motoring badges on the front there and uh, additional later flashing indicators too. Still in Malvern, two photos now of LPX844. This is a West Sussex registered A40 Devon Saloon from September 1950. Uh, I checked this one and it's been untaxed since 2010. So presumably this one is sat in someone's garage somewhere, unless you know different. If you can add any background info to the cars that are featured in this video, please pop a note into the comments, that'd be great. Carry on with these Austin Counties cars, we've got a front view of another A40 Sports RMY741, that's a 1952 car. I like the period bug deflector on the top of the bonnet of this car. I forget where this was, but it's a black Austin A40 Somerset, a standard saloon with a couple of extra lamps on the front. Carrying on with these classic Austins, we're down at the NEC on the Austin County's Car Club stand, and we have an A70 Hereford drophead coupe, a three position roof. This one in the open uh, position. There's the dashboard of the same car, very similar to the A70s and the A40s Somersets of the era. Pressed metal dashboard, simple gauges. There's a rear view of the same car, quite a bulbous design. I think the dropper coupe conversions were undertaken by car bodies, the outside coach builder. I don't think they were Austin built. There's an interesting little A40 pickup, it's an A40 cab, um, but with a homemade rear body on the back. Quite a neat job, I think. 
Where's that now? Has it been restored? Is it back on the road? Talking of pickups, we've got a wonderful Austin A70 Hampshire pickup. Um, fantastic vehicle, about 1950 I would have thought. Looking at the sunburnt paint, I'm guessing this probably came in from Australia. Looks like a very sound vehicle indeed, as a rear view of the same truck. Very, very smart little truck, I would happily have that. There's an A40 Devon, looks very original, waiting restoration, but did it go on to be restored? I can't quite make out the registration on this one, but if anyone recognises, please let me know. NGU 824, that's another A40 Sport, so twin carburetors. This one dates to November of 1952, and according to DVLA, is now yellow. Another A40 pickup, this one is about 1953 or 54, column change, but still with the removable rear spats currently removed in this photograph. Looking a little worse for wear is this Austin A40 Somerset. This was spotted in the Welsh scrapyard in about 2005, 2006, sometime around about then. Doesn't actually look too rusty, really. Down to the NEC again, we've got a very original looking Austin A90. This is a fixed head version with the unusual feature of the wind down rear centre window. LGF99. This is an Austin A40 Devon uh, from 1950, so a year newer than the one I used to have. There's mine in the background. There's a dashboard view, complete with a supplying garage transfer on the glove box lid there. Wood effect dashboard by 1950. Mine was like a gold colour all over, but it, I think the later ones had this wood effect, still with floor change. There's a rear three-quarter view of the same car. Quite a nice little car. The trio of old Austins here, three Austin A40 Somersets. Uh, I'm not sure if these are spares donors or if they were set to be restored. I'm not quite sure then. LOV 622 is a 40 Devon saloon, four door saloon. This one dates to 1951 and it appears to have a 1489cc engine, which suggests that someone's fitted a B series engine from an early A40 or A55 Cambridge. Three more here, there's an A70 Hereford on the left, Somerset top right, and that's my Somerset at the bottom right, which in later years someone converted into a pickup and did a very nice job of it too. Back to the NEC, and we've got an A70 Hampshire in yellow, complete with rear wheel spats, very, very rare car now. On 63 AMU, this was photographed back in 2006 at a classic car show in Wales. It's an Austin Somerset uh, from January of 1954. Lots of period mods. We've got the no-tech spot lamps on the front, period sun visor, aerial, extra mirrors. There's a rear view of the same car. And flashing indicators have been fitted, perhaps to replace the original pop-up semaphore indicators. You can just see between the two side doors there. to the NEC and we've got a lovely little van here MOM 164 from September of 1952 that's a Birmingham registration series introduced in the same month and year out on the Cheshire run we've got an A40 pickup Over to the NEC, we've got a drophead coupe version of the Austin A90 Atlantic FPN717. That's an East Sussex registration series that came into being in February of 1951. This car, there's a review of it, this car was put on the road in May of 1951. Standard 2.6 litre engine. Very smart, very swish looking car indeed. There's a Interior view of the same car, very nice, lots of cream baker light there, painted dashboard, very smart, nice old radio in there too. 
couple more Austin Countess cars, a pair of A40 Somerset in black, looking a little sorry for themselves, but not the rustiest I've ever seen, so perhaps they were rescued from this scrapyard and are now back on the road, who knows, this was in Wales somewhere. The scrapyard has long since closed, I believe, so if you know what happened to these cars, let me know. There's a minivan on the left there, that would definitely be rescued if it was now. An interior dashboard view of one of those Somersets, complete with a supplying dealer badge on the left hand side of the dashboard there. Column shift, all A40 Somersets were column shift if I remember correctly. Here's a proper rarity, not a Devon, but this is the Austin A40 Dorset, the two door equivalent of the four door A40 Devon. Very few of these were made over a couple of years for production. To the uh, Motor Museum down at Gaydon, a side on view of another A40 Sports, an immaculately restored example. LOL 320, um, this was on the Austin County's Car Club stand a few years ago, that's a Birmingham registration series, uh, introduced in July of 1951. Now is this a parts donor or is it going to be restored? Please let me know in the comments, I'd love to know. Back to the Cheshire Run, we've got another very smart A40 pickup driving along. The rear three-quarter view of the same truck. When the Somerset took over from the Devon Saloon, they carried on making the Devon-shaped commercials, the vans and the pickups, etc. Uh, the factory, I don't think, ever offered a van version of the Somerset. The A40 Devon here, this one from about 1951 or thereabouts. A40 Somerset complete with a single no-tech blue spot lamp on the front. NYW918, that's a 1953 car, first registered in London. Check out my video of the Aldridge Transport Museum if you want to see more about this A40 ice cream van. Wonderful old survivor that is. It's a great museum as well, well worth a visit. Back to the NEC and one of the restoration shows and we've got a barn find A40 van here. Latish example with the fixed rear arches, no removable spats by this time. To Goodwood, YVL 743 is a countryman from 1949. Genuine countryman with a sliding rear side windows and folding rear seats in the back. To the auction area at the NEC Classic Car Show, we've got two photos now of an Austin A90 Atlantic, GDP 137. There's a rear view of the same car, and as I said before, that rear window, the centre window, winds down, which is quite a neat feature. ESU 979 is another Austin A40 Devon. This was spotted at Sywell. the Haynes Motor Museum, PPO 445, that's a January 1954 Austin A40 Somerset, that's a West Sussex registration originally. Mid restoration, we've got another A40 here, this is an A90 drop head. A40 Countryman there, an original one with the sliding rear side windows. If you haven't seen them already, there are some brochure reviews also on the channel from a little while ago looking at the A40 vans and the pickups and the Countryman version, so please check those out when you've finished on this one. Down to the NEC, we've got another A70 Hereford Drophead Coupe. There's that van in the background that we've already seen, the A40 van MOM 164, I think. To Goodwood Revival, we've got a fantastic little A40 pickup truck here, NHY 343, that dates to February of 1951, a Bristol series, with a couple of a uh, J40 pedal car body shells up on the roof. To the Haynes Reserve Collection now, PPE 707, that's an A90 Atlantic, fixed head 
A90 Atlantic. Interesting how the windscreen is a three-piece screen. You've got the main centre screen and the little curved corners. On the Cheshire run many years ago, we spotted this A40 van, LDG 842. That's a van with added windows cut into the rear sides. There's a rear view of the same van. You can see the removable rear wheel spats that was a feature of this era of van and pickup. Here's an A40 Sport mid restoration. Just a few more classic Austins to go in this collection of Counties Cars photographs. Here, GFK 152 is a October 1952 Worcester registered A40 Somerset. This was spotted somewhere along the Seven Valley Railway, I believe, at one of the stops. It was a classic car gathering, as we called in. On the New Year's Day meet, not far from us, quite a few years ago, this uh, A40 Sports turned up. Quite a rare sight, I've not seen it before or since, so whether it's still in the area or not, I don't know. This was at Donington, quite a few years ago, GBL 343, it's a fantastic little 1950 Austin A40 pickup truck, Berkshire registration. Very, very smart, done up in the livery of an Austin service vehicle. Four more photos, a rarity at the top left there, an A40 drophead and a rare A70 Hereford pickup at the top right and an A40 Dorset on the bottom right. There's lots of A40 Dorset photos on the main old classic car image archive as well. Here we've got a re-registered A40 Devon Saloon, a standard car. Back to Cywell, we've got TNK 800, this is a lovely Austin A40 van from March of 1956. A quick check and it shows an engine size of 1098cc, which suggests that someone may have put the Morris Minor 1000 engine in this particular van. Another A70 Hereford is next, this one immaculate in black, immaculate chrome, very very smartly turned out car indeed and quite a rare sight now. Also looking very smart, this was down at Cywell, there's a grey Austin A40 Somerset. Various extra lamps on the front, otherwise a standard looking car. And to round out this collection of Austin County's cars, we've got a J40 pickup truck, a uh, J40 pedal car even, in the livery of a racing team. There's a racing Jowett Javelin alongside it. And that rounds out this collection of 80 plus photographs of Austin County's cars. I hope that was of interest. Please check out some of the other Austin related videos that are now on the channel, and there'll be more videos along very, very soon. So bye for now.